the patient really is in charge now in many ways. I mean, they can check their own data, they can check their own hearts, there's so many apps out there. Let's, let's just jump in and what, what are some of your favorite innovations? Well, just to be clear, we're not there yet because <laughs> we're kind of mostly in this uh, step tracking, activity tracking, right. and that's kind of given the field a bad name because that's just not that important relative to medical matters. It's yeah. nice to get, in fact, I recommend these trackers for, to get people more active. But what we're moving into is a whole new space of being able to track critical metrics like vital signs and we already can do glucose. And that's coming on board really quickly now because there's so many different sensors. And pretty soon you'll be able to do your labs through your smartphone. And a lot of the physical exam components can be done through the uh, smartphone already today. So yep. uh, as a cardiologist, I'm, of course, into the things that focus on the heart. And we can do some of those things on you to demonstrate them if you like. Absolutely, let's sure. get right into it. What, do you, what did you bring here today? I think I'm overdue for a visit, so why? Well, we'll we just do it today, you know. This is an, so this is a what's known <laughs> as a handheld echo? Yes. An echocardiogram. And, and I want to just say right off that this is already an obsolete device uh, because now it's there's a probe. Now. Yeah, now there's a probe that'll pop right into a Droid smartphone. And I don't have that today because it hasn't been released. It's actually a Philips device. But this GE device V-Scan is what I've been using for the last six years instead of a stethoscope. Right. So we can go ahead and image your so heart. So this is like, this is an ultrasound like a, like a woman would have when she's pregnant. Yeah. But we're looking at my heart. Yeah. So this, this is, is the goop. The goop, that you put on there, the so gel, and we're okay for, for all the viewers out there. Um, <laughs> please turn away, turn away from the screen because I am, uh, I am, we are, we are doing a heart exam here. So uh, please, oh, that, my paleness that, may. That's all you need to do. My that's paleness okay. may blind you. It's okay. All right. Okay, so there here we go. we go. And actually, uh, already. You, you're we we've got your image. It's amazing. Uh, and you know you you are hyper dynamic. That is, your heart is really strong and fast. And of course, you got this kind of floppy mitral valve. Yeah, uh, we, we knew about, about that. that. But you know, Jinx. it's still doing really well. And I could actually uh, get a part of your exam just by feeling the probe, no less seeing everything. It's impressive. But what we can see uh, is that you have a super strong heart and you can see it yourself, which is what I show each patient. In fact, now with the new smartphone device, I can email the loops to the patient. No less, uh, you know, it levels the whole. This is uh, amazing. You know, so here's your mitral valve and what we can do. It, a little you know, floppy there. Yeah, you can see it coming in and out of the left disc. atrium right there, right yeah. there, yeah. So, but, you know, it looks the same as it did. When was that when we had your exam? Uh, exam? I'm overdue. Oh, it's about a probably, year? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't. Ha there's no change in it. But uh, well, th what's good. what's the difference here? And I can we can do a color flow of this. Yes. So um, we can actually map the the blood flow. Here it is, and you can see that that color in yeah. the left atrium. So there's about a three plus or three out of four scale uh, leak of the valve. You can oh see that Lord. coming in. But that's stable. It hasn't changed, and there's no reason that you need to do except we want you exercising more. Yes. And so your heart rate at rest is a lot slower. Yes. The doctor who told me to come to you the first time said, you're looking a little blubbery. Yeah. Well, not so, not so bad. But, you know, we, we, don't, we want to see you in a much better aerobic routine because that you can see that well, I hope, uh, on the screen. The leak of that valve is not trivial. Which is trivial. the bad, the blue? Actually, it's this red coming down into the left atrium. Well, you, you can hear my murmur. It's pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at some point, you know, there's now these new catheter And I'm going to be able to do this at home one day. I'll well, have... You could, sure. Right, yeah. but won't a patient maybe have a... Uh... Um, Thanks. Yeah, we don't want to mess up that really nice shirt of yours. Thank you, thank so, you. The, what, what's great about this, though, is All right, I, people. I don't have to send you to the echo lab. Yeah. We can look at it together. I mean, you don't have to be a doctor to see this. And th what's great is we get an immediate echocardiogram and we save all the hassles uh, and, and it's, it's, a, it's higher quality as you would get for the $350,000 machine that's in the hospital. Yes. All in a handheld device and now right attached to a smartphone. Oh my Lord. And uh, you can do you know, so much with this. You can examine most, a good portion of the body, the abdomen, as you said, the fetus for a pregnant right. woman, the arteries in the neck and in the, in the legs. So you can do a lot with ultrasound, a handheld device like that.